Today, sustainability is becoming a way of life. However, the demands of modern living requires more and more energy. To combat this, Zen have found a way to store the energy. So energy storage is where, during the day, I mean, the beautiful part about solar is it's very, very cheap energy. About, over the life of the system, one-seventh of the cost of buying power from the grid. The problem with solar energy is you can only get it when the sun's shining during the day. You can't use it at night time. So smart batteries where you can store that excess power. It's like currently we have what we call grid connect systems and the power, the excess power flows out to the power grid. We can now store that in batteries, smart batteries, and then we can use that energy at night time and have complete day and night power supply from solar energy. We're about to release new technology, which is a lithium polymer technology, and that will last about 20 years and beyond. But we're also about to see a new step change in the actual cells, the lithium ion cells, and that will happen next year. And that will see another step change in the technology. It's happening very, very fast. So the whole idea of coming off grid and being living in the middle of nowhere um, with no power, I mean, was that appealing to you or was it a bit, bit scary? I was a bit nervous. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure what it would be like, whether we'd be living like hippies. Um, <laughs> I have to think a lot about, you know, can I put the dishwasher on or not? Um, but actually, we've been here and it's been brilliant. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've got the backup of the diesel. Yes, um, yeah. uh, generator, so there's no chance of you really um, running out of power. No. no. The great thing about this is you're never, ever going to pay for a power bill. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to use, I mean, how long will it take, do you think, to, to pay off the, the amount you've, you've, you've invested? When we first spoke to the power network company, um, they actually said, have you considered solar? Yeah. Oh, really? Because the, where the poles are for this area is about 300 metres away. And that would involve going through somebody's vineyard, which understandably they weren't very happy about, or doing lots of tunnelling, because yeah. then you wouldn't want to see stogie poles going across mm. and spoiling this view. Mm. And then they said, you also may need a substation. So when you put all those costs together, you're looking in the region of 200. $180,000 oh, to $200,000. Wow. I mean, this is a brilliant house. I mean, and the beauty of this, this is what I call modern off-grid living or luxury off-grid living. And, and in the past, many people out there will still think to live off-grid, you've got to live like a hippie and you have no toys, no fun, and you have to watch everything. And what Alistair and Andrew have done is they, and what many couples are doing now, is choosing to buy a pristine piece of land like this that's off the power grid, so by not having services connected, you save a lot of money, and then they've chosen to put part of that money towards a huge off-grid power system that they've got all the power they'll ever need to run all their toys, and they're already in front before they even start, so there's no point in even thinking about what the cost of that power is going forward because it's all free, they've already paid for it. 